This issue can feel like too much of a task to even consider getting your hands dirty. We all know that we have something that this world needs. Even your hard lessons can save a life. Mother Teresa once said, I alone cannot change the world, but I can cast a stone across the water to create many ripples. We all have what it takes to be a part of something that can bring change, something that will last and echo through generations to come. Consider this message an opportunity, an enlistment, a call for duty for churches to abandon their personal agendas, for the city official to rise up to the occasion and do more, for all of us to do what we can with what we have. Why? Because humanity matters. You may choose to look the other way, but you could never again say that you didn't know. What has Square Up done for me? Yeah. As far as me? Yeah. Everything. He slept out here with us. He slept out here with the homeless. He brings food to us every night, every day, afternoon. If, if, I, if I was to call him right now, right or wrong, and say, yo, I'm hungry and it's, it's breakfast time, you would show up. This is Cowboy. Cowboy's been out here with me for a while also known as uh, Terry Sullivan. So he's, he's been out with me out here. He's hung out with the guys. He's been with me for 10 months. He slept with us the yeah. other night. He slept outside with us. He was like, I want to know what it feels like. Did you not? Yeah, why? Terry, did you not? And, and he slept outside with us. That was Not too long, and, I, and I'm a lady. I got hit by a car, and I'm about to be 60, but we're going to be all right for a minute. We want to just gonna make sure to get somewhere before the cold comes in. This is Angel. This is one of our, uh, I would consider, square up success stories. So Angel was out here, and then we were able to help him get a job. After getting a job, we were able to get him a, a room for rent, and now he's on the verge of, of purchasing a car and, and doing better. But I would ask Angel, uh, what does square up mean for you? Well, square up means for me it's like a basically it's an opportunity it's like a business it's not a business it's like a family they actually where my family gave me the back they square up actually have um, helped me to progress in life like how did this all start it's a good question so what happened is around thanksgiving time my mother had prepared too many meals with these meals we started to put into containers and I wanted to go downtown Bridgeport where I knew the homeless community gathered. So I took these extra meals. It was about, literally about 20 of them. And I took them to downtown and what I saw downtown really engraved into my head to this day. I saw so many men and women with either no shoes, uh, no socks, no blankets. Some had uh, shirts on, some didn't and they all had cold faces, sleeping on the cold cement floor with some with cardboard and some weren't with cardboard. On that day, I knew that I couldn't do a lot, but I knew that I could make an effort to do something every single day. And that's where I started this whole process. How did it come up? It's kind of crazy to explain, but uh, it's, it's just been a passion. Listen, you want to eat, you're going to eat. You know, if I can help you, I got you. It's it's a normal thing. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know if she, I think it was 12 or 13, something like that. But this lady, I had asked for a token and she said, um, yeah, no problem. She gave me two tokens and $5. I said, no, I only want a token. She goes, no, go get something to eat. And since that day, I think I, I could probably say that since that day, it's like such an impact that I like, that's it. <clears throat> I've always given since that day. Not that I didn't give before, but since that day, it's been, look, that's it. And this happened, bro, let me tell you, I'm 50, I'm 52 right now. And I'm gonna tell you, it probably, I was about 30, I was about 14, I wanna say about 14. And to this day, I can't talk about it because it's so impactful. We are very appreciative of, of uh, Alex. He's trying to help, he's bringing food and, and whatever else he can always bring to us. This is more than uh, helpful to people. 
Hi, my name's Deborah. I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about my story when I lost my home. For me, being homeless was just very difficult. One of the hardest things was how people looked at me when I was homeless, when I lost my home. Uh, people would say, oh, you're homeless, you know, you lost everything, oh, you must have some type of problem, you know, but the thing is, a lot of problems come to us in life in so many different ways. We all face so many challenges. My challenge that I faced and how I became homeless was I lost everything in a day. I lost my son, Simon. He went to sleep one day and he never woke up. And after that, my life was just an abundance of what you could believe of nothingness. Literally, I had nothing, no car, no house, because my son passed in the house, so we sold the house, everything in one day. And without people from organizations like Square Up, Citywide, any community organizations, especially places like Square Up, really helped me get back on my feet. I had no one. I was alone, just me and my seven-year-old daughter, my surviving child, living off the kindness of good people, taking me into their home, giving me room, giving me clothes on my back, shoes on my feet. Everything I had was not mine. It was given to me. Because people did that for me, I was able to, while living in a shelter, I eventually transitioned into a shelter. While living in the shelter, I was able to get a job working at my daughter's school because somebody gave me a chance. Somebody gave me new clothes to go on my job interview. Somebody was there to square up for me when I felt like I couldn't square up for myself. That's bullshit. Yo, uh, I'm sorry. That's the only but way they help us out. We're here. That's thanks to brother. square up. Yeah. The only way they're helping us out. We're freezing the cold. They bring us everything. Yeah. Try to help us out as much as we bro, can. It's cold. It's cold, it's cold this outside. Brother, this brother and we're here. freezing out. Yeah. He comes every night. You know what I mean? It takes time and effort mm. out of his life to make sure he brings us a hot meal every night. You know what I'm saying? Which we highly appreciate. That's and, my brother. And we're grateful for it. Hi, my name is Shania. I got the best stuff that I wanted for Christmas from Alex. Uh, uh, um, a makeup um, kit? A makeup kit. Um, telescope. A telescope. Um, Things a... that you didn't even know you were going to get, right? We didn't have a very good Christmas this year. and um, I wanted a six stuff for Christmas. And she got what she wanted, and he didn't even know. Like we didn't, I didn't tell him, you know, what it was. So I just told him that we were having a hard time this year. And it doesn't matter when I call Alex; he always comes, no matter what. If I call him for other people, he might say no at that time. But I always say, I know he's working on it, and you know, God always puts it in his heart to help. He's an awesome person, and we love him, right? We're just so grateful that he's our neighbor and for the things that he does do. Hi, my name is Charmaine Lewis Hines and I'm a part of the Square Up, Square Up um, Chefs. Um, Square Up is a big deal um, in our community because we give back to our community. We feed um, persons that are not able to feed um, themselves at the moment. Most of these persons are homeless, not by choice, but um, you know by situations. And Square Up is great because it's pretty diverse. I am African American, Jamaican, and real, real <laughs> African. So I bring that um, African flavor. We've got Hispanics. Um, we've got a wide um, variety of. Um, volunteer chefs and we, we don't just do it because you know it's doing we do it from the heart we bring our home uh, to these persons we bring our meals and you know we bring a warm smile so square up is is a big deal and it's a great program for our um, communities it would be great if we have more persons on board you know one uh, personal time um, one community at a time. Hopefully we can go outside of our community and get more people 
um, you know, involve, feed more people, make the table a little bit <laughs> bigger. But um, I'm glad that I'm a part of Square Up. It's a big deal. And, um, you know, we bring a lot of different flavor to the community. And, you know, it's great to give back. I'm glad I'm able to do it. And I do it with passion. And you know what? I love it. And I love to see the smiles and just a warm hug and a big thank you goes a long way. As a first responder in the city of Bridgeport, I've personally witnessed how Square Up has made an immediate impact in the city of Bridgeport. I've witnessed how Square Up has taken men and women who struggle with addictions, have taken them in, have helped them recover, and have allowed them and given them the opportunity to become productive citizens of the city of Bridgeport. I just want to encourage everybody, if you're going through anything, if you lost something, please keep your faith. But more importantly, reach out. Find people in your community. Cry out for help like I did, like my daughter did. And you will be surprised. There are so many around you. Literally, there's a whole army of us waiting around you, ready to square up. If you need help with anything, food, clothing, you lost your house, you battling addiction, whatever. We all gotta square up against the things that life brings to us. No shame, no regret, come to us. You can find us on Facebook, squareupforothers.com. We're also, we have a web page, we have a Facebook page. My name is Deborah. I have a Facebook page and there's so many others a part of this organization that are ready to put these up for you to give you our hands, to give you our hearts, and to help you the same way other people came for me. Let us come for you and square up.